This weekend, I share a piece of poetry with you that I believe has great power. It's called Courage. It's by Russell Camp. Who then has courage? He who, with all his might, has the word of faith kept in his heart, nourished. As over beaten plains of doubt, he journeyed till at last his secret hopes have flourished. He who, with all his might, has stayed on towers of peace, his vision stayed. When in the battle, all were sore afraid. Or in the darkness, ere the day had broken, has, of the rosy dawning, calmly spoken, who in defeat with banners in the dust has stirred again to fight, because he must. Or outfaced fear, or firmly set his heel upon the terrors which all must feel. He who has kept faith, whatever betide, and looked not to see the numbers on his side, has courage. What gives you that courage that you need when you need it? Big or small, it is to know without a doubt that you have a constant companion, to know without a doubt that you do not face what you fear alone. Wherever you are today and whatever tasks are before you, whoever you are to meet, remember that God is your constant companion. If you travel today by car, by plane, by train, by bicycle, or on foot, you know that you're surrounded by the loving presence of God. Whatever your destination, be it to work or to school or to the store or to a doctor's appointment or to visit a friend or to some recreation, you rest assured that God goes before you and establishes your way in divine order and in harmony. In all your interactions with others, whether face to face, by phone, or by the written word, you rejoice that every word and action is guided by divine wisdom, love, and patience. With a sense of security and purpose undergirded in the knowledge that God is your constant companion, you confidently go to meet your God-given good that is waiting for you ahead on the path. And therefore, you stand tall and you walk with courage.